Have you been on testosterone replacement therapy for a long time and wondering how to recover your sperm count because it's absent or very low? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at some research papers that look at this question specifically with TRT and fertility and how to recover from low sperm counts when you've been on TRT and now trying to conceive. As I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, diagnosis, or something like TRT and fertility. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on and what your options are in terms of your health optimization. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, etc., click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer. All right, let's look at this question of TRT and fertility and recovering sperm count. As I've said in previous videos, recovery of testosterone and spermatogenesis does occur spontaneously in many, if not most, individuals within several months of stopping. The amount and degree of this recovery is going to be dependent on many factors, some of which are like your starting levels of both uh, semen analysis and testosterone levels, the dose of testosterone you had been taking, and also how long have you been taking it, and some other things that may be specifically unique to your uh, situation in general. So I've shared in previous videos what my personal experience has been in helping men go through this process, this transition off of TRT. So I wanted to provide some research in this video to give a little more context and depth to some of the different protocols and things that people can consider, of course, in conjunction with their doctors when they're thinking about going through this process. So in a study looking at this, 67% of people recovered spermatogenesis concentrations of 20 million per ml within six months, which is considered adequate amounts. However, some of the men took as much as two years to recover this amount. And obviously that can be a lifetime if you're trying to conceive. And of course, there's really no way of knowing ahead of time as you're sitting and playing the waiting game. So if you're in this camp of having a long history of being on TRT and have low semen analysis, now HCG is definitely going to be your friend. So in the references that I'm using here, these people had definitely stopped taking their testosterone and they were just seeing what was going to happen, whether they added some intervention or they were just watching and waiting. In a multi-institutional study, they looked at men who had very low sperm and previously had used TRT and they were able to regain their spermatogenesis process to a concentration of 22 million per ml with an approximate time frame of four months. And they were using HCG at 3,000 IUs every other day. Now that's a huge amount and you may not necessarily need that amount, but if the clock is ticking, that may, the, may be the best approach for you. And if you've been on TRT for more than two years, and you haven't been using HCG or anything to preserve your spermatogenesis process. In some cases, Clomid was used in conjunction with the HCG. In a paper I'll link to in the description, they proposed an algorithm using different combinations of HCG and Clomid, starting with a semen analysis and followed up with the semen analysis after three months and then making adjustments from there. So the dose and intensity of these medications seems a bit aggressive, but I think if the clock is ticking, it's a reasonable approach, especially if you have been on TRT for some time and not actively preserving your testicular function. As I said, in my experience, many people do recover just by not taking testosterone at all. And sometimes it does take that same amount of time of four or six months is a reasonable time. I've had this happen in my practice for people that have been on testosterone replacement therapy for six plus years, but it can be difficult to just wait and hope that it is going to improve. So these are some ideas that you can take to your doctor and see if they're willing to prescribe these medications to help move things along. I usually recommend starting with Clomid if fertility is the main concern. Of course, HCG can add an additional layer of support and stimulates the testes even more for those people that need it 
With Clomid, we're looking for the FSH and LH to go up. These are what stimulate the testes to make testosterone and spermatozoa. So if you're not responding to the minimal Clomid, which you can definitely test those in the blood, then that's where HCG may come into play to add that additional layer of stimulation. HCG mimics both FSH and LH. However, it probably does have a little bit more LH effect than it does FSH, and that's why HCG plus Clomid is a good combination in older men and those that are really not responding to Clomid alone. All right, how'd I do? Did that help you better understand how to recover from low sperm count when you're on TRT? Hopefully it does. If you do have questions on TRT and fertility, drop those in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.